Hi Aries, thanks for joining me on The Creative Woman and today we're going to find out what is the most important next step for your soul growth. Okay, let's get started. I pulled a sacred geometry activation card for you and an astrology card. The Sacred Geometry Activation is number 37 and it the frequency is realization and it says the frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart centered truth as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. So there, you take a look at that for a moment, or as long as you would like. This will activate your subconscious. Okay. And then the, the astrology card that came up for you is having to do with the 10th house. The 10th house has everything to do with achievements and the status out in the world so your job um, your power out in the world your career your um, oh, let's see your how you present yourself and how people see you out in the world okay so realization about that possibly Aries okay so let's let's pull some tarot and get some more let's see what else we can get okay for Aries Sun Moon rising Venus sign it's a general reading oh there we go okay got three coming out and I apologize for this streak coming down, the sun is shining through my window, even though I have the blinds closed. So we will see there. And, and I know I'm probably, I don't know how I'm coming out, washed out. But it doesn't matter so much me as, as you seeing the cards. Okay. Okay, so let me just take a moment here and see what comes to me. Okay, I was drawn back to these two cards that I just, the astrology card and the realization frequency card. And what I'm getting is some of you Aries, at this time, you are taking a second look at possibly your career or whatever you have been doing in the outside world and, and taking another assessment of is this what what you've been doing is it true with who you truly are what you truly in your heart um, is it is it exemplifying your truth and again who you truly are and and so you're taking a look at that because you're you're assessing internally about yourself it have what you what have excuse me what you have been doing in the past have you been or are you currently expressing your highest self your highest truth who you truly are and if you're not then you are readjusting that you're either changing professions or you know could be many things but this is a general reading so you just put that in with your situation 
But anyway, you're taking a look at that and and maybe some of you are. And so you're just going to continue on that path and reach higher and higher in out in the world doing what you what brings you passion in your heart and what enables you to express who you truly are out into the world more efficiently or even better. So that that's what I'm getting with these two cards. Okay, so then I pull the Tarot of the Star card, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Devil. So again, what I'm getting from the star card is balance. You're balancing out. You are anything that that you have been doing or out in the world that is not you, you're letting that go now. Because that's not you. That is stopping you actually from being who you truly are. And so you're letting that stuff go and you are then figuring out what you really want and what really burns that fire and, and brings that passion to you and enables you to express things that you have never expressed about who you truly are. And now you're beginning to see and, and figure out those things. Okay. And that's where you're going to shine. That's where you are going to catapult that's what's going to catapult you and I just heard that's your new beginnings is going away from what you aren't anything you've been doing that is not you it's been stopping you and it's burning you out it's not bringing you inner joy and happiness or abundance or anything so you have to take a look at that and again let those things go let that thing go and go towards your passion and some of you might be fearful of that because you've never done that before the what you've been involved with so far up and in, in to this point in your life which it doesn't matter what it is you know that that's familiar to you even though it might not be bringing you joy it's not bringing you joy because it's not who you are so there's a bit of fear and I jump to this devil card so that brings out fear in some of you, of course, because these new beginnings, you've never, you've never expressed that part of yourself before, you before. And so there's going to be fear. There's going to be uncertainty because it's a new path. It's someplace you've never been. You don't know. You, um, it's not being shown to you. You, you, let's see, um, how do I say this? The past, you know, even if it's brought you whatever poverty or disappointment, you still know that you're familiar. You know how to navigate that path. You don't know how to navigate who you truly are and what is going to bring you true joy and happiness in relationships I'm hearing, in abundance in every way, uh, inner peace, inner peace, self-worth, um, self. So I just heard jump in with both feet, just jump, jump in to the unknown, and trust your intuition, trust your inner self, trust your inner guidance. That, just go with your passion, your passion, whatever that is. Any doubts you might have, that's normal. Don't let those stop you, okay? Because here, you will reach fruition. You will, you will see, um, you will see the fruits of your labors. Just go for it. Go for it. 
is what I'm hearing. Again, this little bird, this is with the Nine of Pentacles. And you can see that little bird that the person's holding. He has a something over his his face, his head, so he cannot see. He, so again, it's asking you, use your intuition. Even though you cannot see the road ahead, you cannot, you don't have full knowledge or any knowledge of how it's going to turn out, take that leap anyway. Take that leap. That's, that's very good. Okay, and again, I said the, the fears, you're going to have fears. That's, but don't turn from those fears. Because if you face those fears and you go ahead and take that leap anyway, those fears will dissolve. They will dissolve. Okay, let's see what else comes out for Aries. What steps they need to take right now for their soul growth. So that again, yes, uh, go with your passion, your higher expression of your passion of who you are that you have not shown the world yet. No matter if you can't see You can't see the outcome. You can't control the outcome. You have fear with that because you can't see. Do it anyway. That's your next step. Okay, and then I just got the Three of Wands, which to me this is saying, okay, just take a deep breath, calm down, Okay, you have some fear. That's all right. You've been doing something a certain way, okay, but that's not serving you anymore. So take a step back. Just calm down. Get in a quiet space if you need to, out in nature, someplace where you won't be disturbed, and just relax so you can take another perspective you can step back from whatever situation that is stressing you out that is fear, giving you fear that you are uncertain about a new direction that you're uncertain about and just you're going to you're going to be able to see it in a brand new way rising above that situation to do your best to just in in your calm moments with just yourself that enables you to get out step out side of those feelings of fear of uncertainty whatever it is and you will be able to take another look, a, a, a different perspective that shows a broader, it takes in everything where you couldn't see when you're in fear or in any negative feeling. You cannot see that situation for what it truly is. So you will see it in a different way when you do this. And Again, you will you will have calm. It will be calm. You will see it correctly, and the answer will come to you. The information will come to you. The direction for you to go will come. Whatever you don't know now, you will figure it out. You will figure it out. And I just heard you will choose. For most of you, you will choose that new direction. You will gain courage. You will gain courage and clarity in your quiet moment with just yourself. Listen to your intuition. I'm also hearing. Okay. Let me see what else comes out. Aries. Sun, moon, rising. Venus sign. Venus sign. The steps they need to take right now for their soul growth. 
Aries, Sun, Rising, Venus sign. I'm also hearing this is going to increase your self-worth or your self inside that new perspective. And three, the number of three, numerolo numerology-wise, has to do with creativity. So this is going to also be expanding some of your creativity. Some of you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Okay. Whoa. No, that was my mistake. I'm not going to do that one. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. What else do they need to know? For their next steps and their soul growth. I'm going to take those. Okay. We'll do that one. Yeah, I'm feeling, it could be, you know, nervous, fear, uncertainty. That's intense. You have, some of you have intense, nervous energy. Which, you know, is understandable. New, new paths, new directions that you've never been before. And, and you're going to be... You're, you're tapping in with this realization. You're tapping into your true selves, who you truly are. And then it's, your new path is going to be putting you out there, your expression of your highest self that you've never done yet before, out into the world for all to see. And so, of course, um, that's raw and it's like you're stepping out naked is what I see. You're, you've taken your clothes off and you're just out there exposed, fully exposed, and, and that is um, fearful. There is, because you don't know how that's going to be reciprocated out into the world. You don't know how people are going to react. And so, of course, um, you're a little shy about that, a little nervous about that. And I, I feel that. I feel that in this. That's the energies I'm feeling, so I'm here to say it's all right, everything's okay, everything's going to be okay, just <sighs> calm yourself down, breathe, meditate, go, go out in nature, spend some time with just you where you're not in, interrupted by anyone, whatever is relaxing for you and creative for you. Okay, we've got the Emperor came out, the world came out in the Knight of Pentacles. So, this is where you're going, Aries, Emperor, the Emperor, the Emperor is fire, which you are fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy, and that strength, that is passion, you're finding your passion, who you truly are. And being centered and see that emperor again, he is, he's sitting straight forward. So that's, he knows himself. He, he is strong. He has strong inner strength and inner peace within himself. He's calm. He knows who he is. He knows himself. And he knows how to show who he is and express who he is out into the world. That's where you're headed, Aries. That's where you're headed. That's, that's your new beginnings, your next steps in your soul growth. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Leaders, I'm hearing. Some of you are leaders. Leading physicians. Okay. And the world card. I just heard the world is at your fingertips. Shine your bright light into the world. the Knight of Pentacles. 
Again, this is going to, I'm just, I'm being drawn to the Knight of Pentacles, the background, yellow, bright yellow. Same with the Three of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles all have yellow backgrounds. So that is, to me, you are increasing your self-worth yourself inside in this during this whole process this figuring out what you've been putting out in the world and what what that isn't you and isn't serving you and what is and choosing to just take that leap that new beginning into you yourself expressing who you truly are in your highest form out into the world so that you can assist in healing humanity healing yourself first and doing that and then it also it also heals others it heals the earth very magical things miraculous things when we each do our own personal work we are automatically assisting the jump in evolution for this whole earth and the whole universe. So it's just, it's huge, it's huge and beautiful. So the Knight of Pentacles, let's see if I can get some more for this Knight of Pentacles and what, okay, what physical, okay, because Pentacles has to do with physical manifestations. So what are you, what I just got it, are with this Knight of Pentacles is you're putting something specific, physical out into the, into the world. 10th house and, and here your realization card there, the activation card. So let me see if I can get some more details on what, okay, there you go, what you are exactly putting out into the world. And that is, okay, I got three of pentacles. That's actual information. That is actual, um, whatever your new um, specialty is. Let's see the three of pentacles. He is physically doing something putting something on the wall there and there are two other people there that are receiving that information so whatever it is Aries that you are to be putting out from your heart from your soul that is your true burning passion and I'm hearing you've never done this before so it could be writing a book it could be you could be speaking out in front of an audience. You could begin a YouTube video, um, putting out new information. In some way, it's new information that you have gained in a way that you have never expressed yourself out into the world before. And this information is so, so needed and necessary. And it could be for some of you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. It could be for some of you, you have been going all the turmoil and conflict and experiences that you've been going through up to this point have been leading you and to gain the knowledge that was necessary so that then you could put this information out in your specific way that you are gifted, that you haven't used before, you haven't done before. Beautiful, beautiful Aries. That is just wonderful. So those are your next steps to your soul growth, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. All right, well, I hope that that information that I gave will help 
many of you. I'd love to hear your comments and good luck and keep going. Take that leap, Aries, take that leap. You can do it. All right. Have a great day. Until next time.